Let's take a look at some of the individual movers, some of the bigger stock stories of the day. First up, look no further than Fisker. Shares surging today. Look at that, up just about 30%. This comes after releasing its Q4 results. The company reaffirming plans to begin deliveries of its highly anticipated Ocean SUV this spring. The company isn't taking its foot off the pedal, adding that it plans to produce more than 40,000 vehicles this year. Lots of questions about whether or not they're going to be able to do that. But Jared, taking a look at the reaction here, the street obviously very encouraged by the fact that the company did reiterate its plans to begin deliveries this spring. Also a bullish outlook here saying that they think demand is going to rise once the deliveries do begin and brand awareness uh, grows here. So rising despite the Q4 results falling just a bit short, the company posting a loss of $170 million. We'll see what demand looks like for this Ocean SUV once we get the first few hitting the road here in just a couple of months, it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, this has been kind of long awaited as well. You, uh, most of these EV cars, these concept cars, well, when they start out in the concept stage, uh, look nice and modern. And then when it, you finally roll them out, at least I'm scratching my head, we've been, we've been actually seeing that for a couple of years now. But here's what I'm watching on the Wi-Fi Interactive is our EV heat map. And if I sort by, with a, this is just what happened today. So Fisker up 30%, uh, but you take a look at what's happened over the last year. Uh, uh, some of these losses are quite palpable. And then when you take a look at where uh, FSR is on that list, it's down 38%, so kind of in the middle of the pack. Not down nearly as much as some of the others, but a lot of the charts look like this. A lot of room to go there. Yeah, certainly. It's going to be a big week for the EV space in general. We have Rivian reporting tomorrow. Mizuho reiterated its buy rating ahead of those results. Its view on execution, they think that it's going very well. And then we also have Tesla's Investor Day on Wednesday. So certainly yes. a lot of focus here on the EV space. What demand looks like there clearly will be key here moving forward as we try to figure out what Main Street adoption looks like and how long it looks like uh, that runway is until we see more and more EVs on the road.